So you're probably wondering why I'm spray painting a tree. What this is, this is a hemlock, and we're going around and treating for woolly algids. They're a pest. They're killing all the hemlocks in the southeast. I'm doing my part. We're going with three experiments. I'm going with Merit for my insecticide. I'm using tablets. I'm using powder. And I'm using liquid. I want to see how the tablets are going to do. I want to see how the liquid wants to do. And I want to see how the powder wants to do. I'm not near a water source. I'm not going to haul a lot of water in. So I'm going to see what works the best. What's the fastest. This is a young man's game for crawling up and down the mountain. I'm going to show you some of the tools of the trade. So, got a measuring cup. I put my mix in this and I go around the roots. Here's the liquid merit. Then I've got a chart. And this chart that I use is because I measure the circumference of the tree. I find the circumference in here. It gives me a chart for all the different methods that I'm using. I'll measure it. I'll come up with a dose. And you can see right around the tree, I've already raked around the tree. I went with blue. The state uses blue paint for the first round and uses orange for the second round. This will last five to seven years, the first treatment. So what I do, I hit it with the blue, but I also put the year on it. Bad memory. And then hopefully, I'm gonna keep treating and treating and treating and save. My goal is to save 100 trees. I can't save them all. So this is our watershed down here. This is the most critical. This needs the most shade. If I keep that water cool, it helps the fish. I don't wanna to get too close to the creek because it's an insecticide. And if I get the insecticides in the creek, then I kind of shot everything in the foot. So uh, I'm gonna go ahead and do our first treatment and uh, on, to, on to the next. So I'm supposed to use 8.5 gallons. We measured the tree out, got the chart out. So I'm using an oil funnel and I'll go, I'll go around the base of the roots. Right, that's half that then I'll go to the other half of it so what I'm using probably the experts wouldn't they'd probably shoot this down but they're not here helping so whatever right so I'm using merit and it's 0.5 G the liquid I'm using merit 2f a much stronger mix I just doubled down with this also in this bucket I mix 12 12 12 with it I figure these trees are already stressed from the bugs. I'll mix a little 12-12-12 in it, give it the insecticide, and that'll give it a boost. A weak tree is a victim. If I can give it some vitamins, I figure I'm helping it out. So we're finding out, if you got the money, the pelletized insecticide is the way to go. The liquid is just a major pain in the butt. You gotta haul water, you gotta measure it, you gotta mix it. This is really good for steep terrain. We're leaning on the side, trying to insecticide a tree. This just clear the leaves out, sprinkle it out, and you're done. So anyway, this merit that comes in a bag, I'm real happy with it. It's fine. I'm finding out it's a lot easier than that liquid. You can also inject these trees. A lot of forestry services will let you rent them, bar them. I had it offered to me. One, it's gonna slow me down, and two, I've gotta got work during the week. I don't wanna tie that device up. If they're expensive, you tear it up, you tear it up, you bought it, so mm -mm, I'm not doing that. This is on our time and our dimes, the way I look at it. So uh, we're gonna go back in the woods. We've been mixing it up here at Dumpy, and we're gonna head back down. So here we are, and I just wanna show you the next step that uh, you can see I put an X on it, and then I've got the ear. And now we're using the liquid. We've got a water source. We're staying away from the creek. But uh, it is much slower with the liquid that you get more 
you get more trees. So it's a you know it's catch twenty two. So we're we're gonna keep treating trees and keep moving along. One eternity later. So we're at the next step, and uh, what I do, which I don't like what I got, but these trees are infected with the algae. So we're gonna treat these trees, but I transplant these, and I put them in a spot that I can keep an eye on them. Case in point. Uh, my mother's place in town, I planted a hemlock 10 years ago and that thing's as big as a bus now, healthy as a horse. It's a gorgeous tree and by keeping our eye on it and treating it and fertilizing it, they're gonna live forever. So what I do is I trim these things up and I give them a head start because I've trimmed them. Here's something I trim them with. Get a pair of Fiskars and this is take root and I'll just dip where I've cut and then some of the taps, dip it in there, dip it in there, and then I've got this bag, and I'll put it in there. But something else I'll do, because you gotta know where you planted, right? <clears throat> I'll get this surveyor's tape. Of course, they've gotta use super glue to do it. Sorry, I'm taking y'all's time up. So, I'll cut a piece off, tie it to the tree, and that way I can see it in the woods. And I'm looking for a tool, hang on. Here's another tool I use, it's a divot tool. You'll take it, stomp it, pry it back, pry it forth, to get this tree and stomp it in the ground and you're done. Then we'll go ahead and treat these trees. So we're going to prep these trees and then we're going to head to the woods. So this spot's right below our cabin. Hemlocks love wet feet, so what you do is you get the divot tool. Of course, I hit a rock. Get it, go back, go back towards me. And I see water, they're gonna love it. Up the tree. Do not Curl the root up. And that's in the ground. That's it. It's planted. So we're going to keep planting more trees. I appreciate you being here. Take care. God bless.